It's very good that you are here because um, we have gathered to talk about equivalent fractions. And this is a very important part of the whole fraction chapter, yeah? but also in maths, if you are able to, to confidently uh, uh, find equivalent fractions, and fractions are the same, that you are able to play with them, that you are able to manipulate fractions, that is essential for your understanding. Also, when we're going uh, to do algebra and other parts in maths. Okay, so I already said equivalent fractions, those are fractions that are equal, yeah, that are equivalent. Those are fractions that are the same. I'm going to show you now what it's based upon uh, by looking at two examples. Yeah, and then in the next video we're going to do more example questions together. Okay, but an equivalent fraction, for instance, uh, can say, well, that 1 over 4, yeah, that is the fraction 1 over 4, that is the same as how much over 20? Well, that's the same as 5 over 20. I'm going to show you now with two examples why these two fractions are equivalent or the same. Look at this situation. Let's say this is a piece of chocolate. Yeah, we all like chocolate. It's a big chocolate bar, but I'm going to divide it into four equal parts. Okay, so I'm going to divide it in one. Uh, two, just very quickly, three, four, eh? so four equal parts. Eh? So I'm breaking up my chocolate bar, four equal parts. Now, one part then will be, well, one chocolate bar divided by four. So every part is a quarter. Do we agree? Yeah, because four quarters then add up to one again. Eh? One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters then is one, four over four. Okay, but now, I get some more friends who like a piece of chocolate and let's say I'm going to divide one of these uh, pieces into two more pieces, two equal pieces. Now how much is each piece going to be? Now let's do that for all of those pieces. Alright, there we go, and there we go. So if I would divide every quarter into, again, two equal pieces, how many parts does my chocolate bar then consist of? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then, all of a sudden, each part is one over eight. One over eight. One over eight. Yeah? So each of those smaller parts now is one divided by eight. So as you can see now, is, or the conclusion you can make is that, well, initially a quarter of a piece of chocolate so 1 over 4 apparently is the same as 2 over 8 because that is or 2 of them and if you like if I continue if I had 3 quarters yeah let's say I had 3 of those initial pieces yeah 3 quarters all right so let me write that down here 3 quarters apparently is the same as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 6 over 8, okay? They are the same, they are equivalent. Now, do you draw a piece of chocolate every time when you have to find equivalent fractions? No, because how does it work? Well, if I multiply, I'll put it in red, my denominator at the bottom, if I multiply that by 2, yeah, for it to be an equivalent fraction, I have to multiply the numerator, eh, the top part of my fraction, by 2 as well. Eh? 4 times 2 is 8, 1 times 2 is 2. In this case as well, I've multiplied it by 2, yeah? so I have to multiply that one by 2 for it to be equal, for it to be equivalent. Now hang on a minute, what now if I would continue to divide, let's divide all of these pieces now, again, eh, all of those eights, getting a little bit messy now, but I hope you understand what I'm doing now. I'm dividing all those eights, again, into two equal pieces, yeah? So I have now one, two, um, I forgot to do this one, sorry. I start over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pieces, sixteen pieces, yeah? So, if we look at three quarters of the chocolate bar, those are how many out of 16? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 out of 16. Because 4 times 4 is 16, and then 3 times 4 indeed is 12. Okay? So, if you multiply the denominator by a particular factor, by a particular number, you have to multiply the numerator by the same number for it to be equivalent, for it to be equal. Yeah? Now, back to the first sheet, yeah? 1 over 4 equals 5 over 20, because 1 multiplied by 5, then 4 multiplied by 5. Because this is not hocus pocus, yeah? this is not some trick. You are not really changing anything, you are manipulating it. Yeah? 5 over 20 is the same as 1 over 4. Because by which number do I actually multiply 1 over 4? By which number do I actually multiply 1 over 4 to get 5 over 20? I multiply it by 5 over 5. And what is 5 over 5? 5 over 5 is 1. Yeah, 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I'm actually multiplying my initial number by 1. So the answer, any number multiplied by 1, is the same as the original number. Yeah? If I, if I say, well, 7, well, times 1 is yeah, 7. Okay? 1 over 4 times 1 is 1 over 4. But in order to work with some of those fractions, we sometimes have to manipulate them. Then we don't multiply them by 1 but we'll multiply it by, in this case, 5 over 5, which is also 1, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not changing it, I'm manipulating it, 5 over 20, so then I can work with it in particular situations, okay? Now go to the next video for some example questions, um, because when you do those, I'm sure you understand what to do. I'll see you there.